In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to set an alarm on a Chromebook. So, in a previous video, Timmy showed you how you can set a timer on your Chromebook, which is where you can set maybe a 30 minute timer or a 20 minute timer, and then the alarm will go off at that, uh, after that amount of time. But in this video, Timmy's going to show you how you can set an alarm on your Chromebook, which is where you set it for maybe 7 a.m., and then at 7 a.m. the time will, will go off, or the alarm will go off. So if you want to set a timer on your Chromebook, you can click the, the link in the video description down below to go and watch that video. But if you want to set an alarm on your Chromebook, you can do it by watching this video. So there is actually quite an easy way that you can set an alarm on your Chromebook, but unfortunately it's not very obvious how it's done. It's kind of a bit confusing. But don't worry, in this video, Timmy's going to show you how you can do it. So, to set an alarm on your Chromebook, you'll actually need to use the built-in clock app that comes with Chrome OS. But, strangely, if you look through the app launcher, you won't actually see a clock app. But it is there, there's just a strange way you need to find it. So, when you're on your Chromebook, you'll actually need to open up the Google Play Store. We're not going to install any new apps. But the Play Store is just the only way Timmy's found that will be able to open the app that's already installed, which is a bit weird. But if you click on the Play Store to open it up, you'll just need to click on in this search box here and search for a clock. And then you'll see this clock app here by Google LLC is already installed. So you just need to click on the clock app and click on open. And now you're in the clock app. So to get to your alarms in the clock app, you'll just need to click on alarm down here. And now you've got these two preset alarms. So if you want to use one of these presets, you'll just need to click on this switch here to turn them on. And now this preset alarm will go off at 8.30 a.m. on every weekday. And you can click on this drop down button here to view some of the settings. So you've got the weekdays here and you can choose to add the weekends if you want by clicking on them. You can add a label if you want. So if you click here, you can name it and then click on OK. And you can also choose the tone. So by default, it's silent. So your screen will flash up and say there's an alarm, but it won't actually make any noise, which means you won't actually hear it if you're not looking at your Chromebook, which is a bit annoying. So if you just click on this sound here, you'll see here you don't get a big range of sounds. You can choose between none and silent, which are basically both the same thing, or oxygen. So if you want it to make a sound, you'll need to choose oxygen. If you have your own music on your Chromebook, you can add it here, but that's a bit more complicated. To me, I would just recommend going with oxygen. And then you can click on this back button here. And now it's set to oxygen. So now the alarm will actually make a noise when the timer goes off. But in order for it to make a noise, you will actually have to turn on the volume on your Chromebook. So with the volume buttons on your keyboard, you'll just need to make sure it's turned up or it can be down a bit like that if you don't mind it being a bit quiet, but you'll probably want to make sure it's all the way up and make sure it's definitely not muted because then you won't hear it at all. So just make sure the volume is turned on because that will also control the volume of your alarm, unlike on a phone. So that's how you can use the preset alarms, but you're probably going to want to create a custom alarm so it can be exactly the time that you want. So to do that, you'll just need to click on the plus button over here and now you can set your alarm. So first it will be on the hour. So you'll want to drag this thing around to choose the hour. Timmy's going to choose eight. And then Timmy's going to choose 50 for the minutes because it'll be on the minutes now. So Timmy will drag that around to 50. And you can choose AM or PM, but Timmy's going to leave it set to AM. And then just click on OK. And now the alarm is set. So it's not set to be reoccurring. It's only set to happen today. So if you want to make it reoccurring, you can click on the days of the week to add days. But if you just want it to be tomorrow morning, you can just leave all the days unchecked. And it's set to oxygen now, which is the only sound it comes with. So you probably want to leave it on that. But if you want to do something custom or have it silent, you can click on here and choose that. And you can also add a label like Timmy showed you before, but we won't get into that now. 
because the alarm is about to go off, it's one minute away, so Tomi will just wait to be able to show you what happens when the alarm goes off. And now the alarm is going off and you'll hear a noise. So you get this notification here that says snooze or stop. And you'll also have the time here. And you'll have this bit down here that allows you to drag it to either stop or snooze. Very much like on an Android phone, if you have an Android phone. So if you have a mouse, you can just click on this button and hold it and then drag it to stop or snooze if you want it to snooze. So to me, I'll drag it to stop. Or if you have a touchscreen Chromebook, you can actually just hold your finger on the screen and slide it either way. And then the alarm is dismissed and that's all there is to it. And if you want to delete an alarm so it'll no longer show up here and it'll never go off ever again, you can do that by clicking on the delete button here. And now the alarm is deleted, so that was easy. But one important thing to keep in mind whenever you're setting alarms on your Chromebook is that the alarms will not go off while your Chromebook is asleep. So if you have the lid closed on your Chromebook, the alarm will not go off. And even if the lid is open, but the Chromebook's fallen asleep, so you've walked away for a while and not touched it, then the alarm will not go off. So this is not a problem if you just want it to, maybe while you're working on your Chromebook, you want to want the alarm to remind you to take a break or to go and do something, then that will be fine, you can leave it how it is. But if you want to use it to wake you up or something like that, where your Chromebook will have ended up falling asleep, you'll need to change this setting in the settings first. So to do that, just go down to the time here and click on that and click on the settings icon. And now you'll be in the settings of your Chromebook and you'll just need to scroll down a bit until you find power here and click on power. And you'll see here under power that under when idle and while charging and while on battery are both set to sleep. So that means when your Chromebook is not being used, the it will just fall asleep. So you'll actually need to change that. So if you're going to have your Chromebook plugged in when you want the alarm to go off, to me would recommend that because it might use a bit of power when it's not asleep. So you'll probably want to leave it plugged in if it's overnight or something before your alarm goes off. So you'd need to set the while charging and click on sleep here where it's next to while charging and click on turn off display. So it will turn off the screen so it's not using very much power but the Chromebook won't actually be asleep. It will still be on and working in the background and that means your alarm will go off when it's time for your alarm to go off. And if you're going to have your Chromebook unplugged, you might want to change it the while on battery to turn off display as well. And that means your Chromebook will not even sleep when it's on battery. And that's all you need to do. So now you can close the settings app. And now as long as you leave your Chromebook's lid open, the alarm will go off. So that's really cool and that's pretty much all there is to it. But to me's guessing you probably don't want to go into the Google Play Store and search for a clock every time you want to make an adjustment to your alarm. But luckily there is actually a pretty good workaround so that you can easily open the alarm app in the future. So while you've got the clock app open here, you'll see the clock app icon is down on the bottom of the screen here. And you'll just need to right click on this icon or two finger click if you're using the trackpad. And then in this menu here, come up and click on pin. And now the app will be pinned to your shelf on your Chromebook. So now you can close the clock app and close the Google Play Store. And the clock app will also always be pinned down here. So whenever you want to go in and change your alarm or something like that, you can just click on the clock app down here and it will open up, which is a lot easier than going through the Play Store. So that's really cool and that's all there is to that and that's all there is to setting alarms on your Chromebook. So hopefully you found this video helpful and if you did, please click on the thumbs up button down below and Tamil see you in the next video.